Florida CDL air brakes test. Question 1, the S-CAM. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. Answer. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Question 2. If the air compressor should develop a leak, what keeps the air in the tanks? The tractor protection valve. The one-way check valve. The emergency relay valve. Answer. The one-way check valve. Question 3. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One third. One half. One fourth. Answer. One half. Question 4. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes due to distance. Effective braking. Brake lag. Reaction distance. Answer. Brake lag. Question 5. Emergency control braking is when you Apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Answer Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Question 6. If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. The alcohol container may be low. Answer. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 7. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. To have a drink available if you get thirsty. Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 8. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Answer Release the spring emergency. Parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 9 The application pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have. In the tanks. In a modulating control valve. When you are applying to the brakes. Answer. 
when you are applying to the brakes. Question 10. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in No change of brake air pressure The loss of brake air pressure A buildup of brake air pressure Answer The loss of brake air pressure Question 11. For air brake systems in good condition, the air compressor should start pumping at about Psi 100 150 125 Answer 100 Question 12. The S-cam Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely Answer Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum Question 13. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes due to distance. Brake lag. Effective braking. Reaction distance. Answer. Brake lag. Question 14. The application pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have in the tanks when you are applying to the brakes in a modulating control valve. Answer When you are applying to the brakes. Question 15. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Air brakes use different brake drums. Brakes require heavier return springs. Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 16. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 60. 100. 20. Answer. 20. Question 17. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer Increase braking Answer Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer Question 18. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should Change the alcohol from a new bottle Check and fill the alcohol level Check the oil for alcohol content Answer Check and fill the alcohol level Question 19. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking.
If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Never do it without downshifting first. Answer If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 20. The use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Braking effect of the engine Use of the front brake limiting valve Use of the spring brakes Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 21 it is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause Brake fade or failure Brake linings to split up Modulated control valve to wear out Answer Brake fade or failure Question 22. If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time, you should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. The alcohol container may be low. Answer Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 23. The stoplight switch turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Tells you when you need to use your emergency brakes. Tells you when the air brake system is low on air pressure. Answer. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Question 24. Which is the first thing you should do when a low air pressure warning comes on? Downshift. Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Upshift. Answer. Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 25. What are the slack adjusters? It is an adjusting nut under the cab to adjust the springs. It is the space between the back wheels. It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Answer. It is an adjusting nut on that the back side of the brake drum used for adjusting the brakes. Question 26. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on right pavement adds about feet. 45 feet. 32 feet. 65 feet. Answer 32 feet. Question 27 The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 1 3 2 Answer 2 Question 28. The brake pedal in an air brake system Control the speed of the air compressor Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes Answer 
controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 29. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Answer Release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 30. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than 1 pound per square inch in 1 minute 2 pounds per square inch in 45 seconds 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute Answer 3 pounds per square inch in 1 minute Question 31. The parking brake applies and releases. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. In the event of an emergency. The brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 32. The air compressor stops pumping air at what size? 100. 125. 150. Answer. 125. Question 33. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums, or discs, with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications, generally this will be an inch. One half. One fourth. One third. Answer. One half. Question 34. When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying parking brakes or chalking the wheels? If you are conducting your pre-trip inspection. If you will only be away from the truck for a few minutes. Never. Answer. Never. Question 35. If air pressure is not built up fast enough within the correct amount of time. You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. The alcohol container may be low. Answer. Your air pressure may drop too low during driving. Question 36. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. Answer. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 37. It is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause Brake linings to split up Modulated control valve to wear out. 
break, fade, or failure? Answer. Break, fade, or failure. Question 38. The most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is Upshift Downshift Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Answer Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 39. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 25 35 30 Answer 35 Question 40. When you put the brakes on by pushing down on the brake pedal. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. The air pressure is reduced to the brake pads. Compressed air is let go out of the system. Answer. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Question 41. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build from 85 to 100 pounds per square inch within seconds. 45 60 20 Answer 45 Question 42. An air brake system is fully charged at what size? 75 125 150 Answer 125 Question 43. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used as little as possible to hold your speed when going downhill anytime the vehicle is parked answer anytime the vehicle is parked question 44 the use of air brakes on a down grid is only a supplement to the Use of the front brake limiting valve Use of the spring brakes Braking effect of the engine Answer Braking effect of the engine Question 45 the air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 2 1 3 Answer 2 Question 46 the air supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure you have used in this trip is going to the brake chambers is in the air tanks answer is in the air tanks question 47 if your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance 
stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Answer Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 48. Air brake equipped vehicles have A backup hydraulic system An air use gauge An air supply pressure gauge Answer An air supply pressure gauge Question 49 the brake chamber fills with air pushing the rod out which moves the, which twists the Brake camshaft and tie rod Slack adjuster and brake camshaft Slack adjuster and tie rod Answer Slack adjuster and brake camshaft Question 50. The service brake applies and releases. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. The parking brake when you use the parking brake control. In the event of an emergency. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 51. The parking or emergency brakes of trucks or buses can legally be held on by pressure. Air. Spring. Fluid. Answer. Spring. Question 52. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than Psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 2 1 3 Answer 2 Question 53 which of these is not a proper time to apply the parking brakes? If your brakes are very hot. If you are going to use the parking brakes you need to make sure that they will hold the vehicle. To use parking brakes if you park for less than one hour. Answer If your brakes are very hot. Question 54. The proper method of braking when going down a long and or steep grades after selecting the proper gear is to brake until your speed is about miles per hour below your safe speed, then release your brakes. 15 10 5 Answer 5 Question 55 It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums or discs with cracks or that are thinner than the manufacturer's specifications generally this will be an inch 1 third 1 half 1 fourth Answer. One half. Question 56. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 100. 20. 60. Answer. 20.
Question 57. The driver must be able to see a warning before pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Sigh. 80 50 60 Answer. 60 Question 58. The brake chamber fills with air pushing the rod out which moves the, which twists the brake camshaft and tie rod. Slack adjuster and brake camshaft. Slack adjuster and tie rod. Answer. Slack adjuster and brake camshaft. Question 59. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly Answer. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 60. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. Emergency. Foot. S cam. Answer. Emergency. Question 61. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below. Sigh. 20. 100. 60. Answer. 20. Question 62. Air brake equipped vehicles have An air supply pressure gauge An air use gauge A backup hydraulic system Answer An air supply pressure gauge Question 63. When you put the brakes on by pushing down on the brake pedal. The air pressure is reduced to the brake pads. Compressed air is let go out of the system. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Answer. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Question 64. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Never do it without downshifting first. Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Answer. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 65. Why drain water from the compressed air tanks? Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil, the low boiling point of water reduces braking power. Answer. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Question 66. Which of these is not a proper time to apply the parking brakes? 
to use parking brakes if you park for less than one hour. If you are going to use the parking brakes you need to make sure that they will hold the vehicle. If your brakes are very hot. Answer. If your brakes are very hot. Question 67. The air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than Psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 1 2 3 Answer 2 Question 68 the S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because it is shaped like the letter S. It is shaped like the letter C. It is shaped like the letter N. Answer. It is shaped like the letter S. Question 69. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the brake system. Emergency. Service. Parking. Answer. Service. Question 70. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Never do it without downshifting first. Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will help keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Answer. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control the vehicle. Question 71. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by Air pressure Bolts and braces Springs Answer Air pressure. Question 72. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 60 pounds per square inch. 80 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. Answer. 60 pounds per square inch. Question 73. Emergency control braking is when you Apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Answer Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Question 74. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used As little as possible. Any time the vehicle is parked. To hold your speed when going downhill. Answer. Any time the vehicle is parked. Question 75. The service brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency. 
the parking brake when you use the parking brake control. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Answer. The brake when you use the brake pedal during normal driving. Question 76. How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake pedal. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 77. If your bus or truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to Balance the service brake system when you are parked. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Answer Release the spring emergency, parking brakes to move a short distance. Question 78 your bus or truck has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Reduce your speed and drive to the nearest garage for repairs. Reduce your speed and test the remaining system while driving. Answer. Stop and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. Question 79. How can you test the low pressure warning signal? Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. Shut off the engine with enough air pressure. Turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. While the engine is running, step on and off the brake pedal. Answer Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 80. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? After every four hours of service. Once a week. After every working day. Answer. After every working day. Question 81. Under normal conditions in order to engage the parking brakes the driver must first Let the air out of the spring brakes Turn off the engine Be sure air brakes system is fully pressurized Answer Let the air out of the spring brakes Question 82. The brake pedal in an air brake system Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages Control the speed of the air compressor Answer Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes 
Question 83. Emergency control braking is when you apply the hand valve for one second, then push hard on the brake pedal. Brake as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels lock, and put the brakes back on again when the wheels start rolling. Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Answer Apply the brakes as hard as you can without locking the wheels. Question 84 You should know that your brakes are fading when The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Answer You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 85 With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used only during pre trip and post trip inspections. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. As little as possible. Answer. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Question 86. Air brake equipped vehicles have. An air use gauge. An air supply pressure gauge. A backup hydraulic system. Answer. An air supply pressure gauge. Question 87. The brake pedal in an air brake system. Is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Control the speed of the air compressor. Answer Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. Question 88 You should know that your brakes are fading when Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases. You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. Answer You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 89. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 80 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. 60 pounds per square inch. Answer. 60 pounds per square inch. Question 90. What is the purpose of an alcohol evaporator? To have a drink available if you get thirsty. So you don't have to drain the air tanks as often. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Answer. To reduce the risk of ice in the brake valves and other parts in cold weather. Question 91. Modern air brake systems are three different systems combined together. They are the service, parking, and the brakes. Emergency. S cam. Foot. Answer. Emergency. 
Question 92. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should Increase braking Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer Answer Stop braking, turn quickly, and counter steer Question 93. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the Disc drum Wedge drum S-cam drum Answer S-cam drum Question 94. What are spring brakes? If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Brakes used for parking. The spring on the brake pedal. Answer. If the air brakes leak down, springs press the brakes on to stop the vehicle. Question 95. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air Brakes require heavier return springs Air brakes use different brake drums Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid Question 96. The most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Downshift Upshift Answer Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 97. Converter dollies built on or after March 1, 1998 are required to have anti-lock brakes. These dollies will have A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp in the center of the dolly A yellow malfunction lamp on the right side of the dolly Answer. A yellow malfunction lamp on the left side of the dolly. Question 98. What factors can cause brakes to fade or fail? Not taking your foot off the accelerator. Not pressing the brake pedal hard enough. Overheating, low air pressure and not relying on the engine braking effect. Answer Overheating, low air pressure, and not relying on the engine braking effect. Question 99. The stoplight switch Tells you when the air brake system is low on air pressure. Tells you when you need to use your emergency brakes. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Answer Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Question 100 Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? The S-cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Answer 
ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 101. The parking brake applies and releases. In the event of an emergency, the parking brakes when you use the parking brake control, the brake pedal during normal driving. Answer The parking brakes when you use the parking brake control. Question 102 How can you check the slack adjuster? Park on an incline and see if the vehicle rolls. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes, pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes and press brake metal. Answer Park on level ground, turn off parking brakes. Pull hard on each slack adjuster. It shouldn't move more than one inch. Question 103. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used as little as possible. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended, only during pre trip and post trip inspections. Answer. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Question 104. Why should you be in the proper gear before starting down a hill? So you can go through the gears on the way down. So you can coast downhill. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Answer. So you only have to apply the brake just hard enough to feel a definite slowdown. Question 105. Which is the first thing you should do when a low air pressure warning comes on? Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Downshift. Upshift. Answer. Stop and safely park as soon as possible. Question 106. If you must make an emergency stop, brakes so you... Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. Use the handbrake before the brake pedal. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Answer. Can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. Question 107. The S cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S cam because it is shaped like the letter S. It is shaped like the letter N. It is shaped like the letter C. Answer. It is shaped like the letter S. Question 108. The modulating control valve allows you to control the Spring brakes Front brakes Amount of pressure in the brake system Answer. Spring brakes. Question 109. The emergency brake system uses the service brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. 
uses the parking brake to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Answer Uses parts of the service and parking brake system to stop the vehicle in the event of a brake system failure. Question 110. A slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted if it is more than how many inches when you pull hard on it? One inch. One half inch. One fourth inch. Answer. One inch. Question 111. In air brake vehicles, the parking brake should be used as little as possible to hold your speed when going downhill. Anytime the vehicle is parked. Answer. Anytime the vehicle is parked. Question 112. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? Only on the slippery road. Only when driving downhill. Never. Answer. Never. Question 113. When you put the brakes on by pushing down on the brake pedal. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. The air pressure is reduced to the brake pads. Compressed air is let go out of the system. Answer. Air pressure is applied to the brake pads. Question 114. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the system loses its pressure. What will happen? The manual slack adjusters of the S-CAM brakes will not be set properly. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Answer. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Question 115. An air brake system is fully charged at what sign? 75 125 150 Answer 125 Question 116 How can you test the low pressure warning signal Shut off the engine with enough air pressure turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on While the engine is running step on and off the brake pedal Shut off the engine and see if the air pressure leaks down. Answer Shut off the engine with enough air pressure, turn on the electrical power and step on and off the brake pedal until the low air pressure warning signal comes on. Question 117 How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Answer Pump the brake pedal three times. Then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for 5 seconds. The pedal should not move. 
Question 118. Why must air tanks be drained? To drain moisture and oil out of tank. To tell you how much air is in the air tanks. To drain all the air out of the tank. Answer. To drain moisture and oil out of tank. Question 119. Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator. What may happen if you don't keep the unit filled with alcohol? Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Ice may form on the brake pads and warp them. The S cam may not rotate back when you release the brake pedal. Answer Ice may form in the air storage tanks and cause the brakes to fail. Question 120. Oil and water usually collect in compressed air tanks. If you do not have an automatic tank drain, when should you drain the air tanks? Once a week. After every working day. After every four hours of service. Answer. After every working day. Question 121. The safety valve is set to automatically reduce pressure at Psi 100 50 150 Answer 150 Question 122 Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Brakes require heavier return springs. Air brakes use different brake drums. Answer Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. Question 123. The stoplight switch tells you when the air brake system is low on air pressure. Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Tells you when you need to use your emergency brakes. Answer Turns on the brake lights to warn drivers behind you. Question 124. The driver must be able to see a low pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tank falls below. 100 pounds per square inch. 80 pounds per square inch. 60 pounds per square inch. Answer. 60 pounds per square inch. Question 125. How do you test the hydraulic brakes for leaks? Drive slowly and pump the brake pedal. Make sure it doesn't hit the floor. Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Drive 20 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. Answer Pump the brake pedal three times, then apply firm pressure to the pedal and hold for five seconds. The pedal should not move. Question 126 You should know that your brakes are fading when you have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Pressure on the brake pedal is released and speed increases.
The brake feels spongy when pressure is applied. Answer You have to press the brake pedal harder to control speed on a downgrade. Question 127. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require a stopping distance of how many feet? From 100 to 250 feet. More than 300 feet. Less than 100 feet. Answer. More than 300 feet. Question 128. You are on a steep downgrade and have reached your safe speed of 40 miles per hour. You would apply the service brakes until your speed drops to miles per hour. 30. 35. 25. Answer. 35. Question 129. To make an emergency stop with air brakes, using the stab braking method, you should Brake hard until the wheels lock, and then get off the brakes for as much time as the wheels were locked. Pump the brake pedal rapidly and lightly. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Answer Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Question 130 the air brake system for a straight truck or bus should not leak at a rate of more than psi per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. 3 2 1 Answer 2 Question 131 the braking power of the spring brakes increases when the service brakes are hot is not affected by the condition of the service brakes depends on the service brakes being in adjustment answer depends on the service brakes being in adjustment Question 132. Before driving a truck or bus with the dual air brake system, the pressure in each air brake system should be at least. Psi. 80. 120. 100. Answer. 100. Question 133. Repeatedly pressing and releasing, fanning, the brake pedal may result in No change of brake air pressure The loss of brake air pressure A buildup of brake air pressure Answer The loss of brake air pressure Question 134. To test the air leakage rate you should Turn off the engine and release the parking brake. Leave the engine running and release the parking brake. Charge the air system and leave the engine running. Answer Turn off the engine and release the parking brake.
Question 135, the S-cam forces the brake shoes away from one another and presses them against the inside of the brake drum. It is called the S-cam because It is shaped like the letter S. It is shaped like the letter Z. It is shaped like the letter N. Answer It is shaped like the letter S. Question 136. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used only during pre-trip and post-trip inspections. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended, as little as possible. Answer Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.